Hello again, welcome to Forge Beats. Have you seen our Patreon reveal? Um, yeah, there's like the curtain moving outwards, like this one. If you want to do uh, the same effect as we did, um, follow these instructions. So first, we are going to create a new Blender file because um, this one might be stale. You don't want to use a stale um, Blender file. So next we hide the cube and then we add a plane. This is going to be our curtain. So let's rotate 8 by 90 so it faces uh, it faces us and then I'm just moving my my window around because uh, um, OBS is obstructing my my view uh, I'm just trying to move anyway so first um, we subdivide the plane like that like this subdivide set it like 96 or 100 if you are like a decimal person I usually um, go with uh, divisibles by 8 because uh, it's kind of a habit for me because I used to program a lot so yeah we shade smooth it if, I, if we haven't and then back to edit mode we, we try to select the topmost only I think that's going to be better. Uh, I kind of need to go closer. There you go. So we select the topmost only because we need to pin it. Otherwise, if we if we start um, incorporating uh, physics to it, it's going to fall down. So we're gonna need to pin the upper part. So we're going here, um, the object data properties, click on this plus button under the vertex group, then click assign. So we have um, we have an assignment there. If you want, you, we could rename it, but uh, it's not necessary. Um, in group. Then exit edit mode. And then we apply the cloth physics. Click the cloth physics. Go down where the shape is. Click this one. Then we, you can see there's a pin group here. Select the pin group. There you go. So if we play this one, yeah, it's not going to fall down. We have pinned it in, in place. So next, we want to create... Um, we want to create a uh, shape key for these uh, assigned uh, vertices here. So go back to the object mode, click back here, um, the object data properties, click the shape keys, uh, just create the, the base and then create the key one. And then, uh, of course, make sure the relative is enabled. Then go back to edit mode. Then we we want to move uh, the whole thing towards the left it's up to you if you want to reveal it to the left or to the right or you could do two curtains one going to the left one going to the right but we're, we're just remaking the one that um, I used on our patreon reveal so let me just select this one this one lonely vertex here so that we could move the cursor there and then we reselect the whole thing select like that then make sure uh, this one um, what you call this the pivot point should be 3d cursor there you go and then we scale it along the y axis then hold the control button so it would jump like that 
And then let's move it a little bit like I think that's uh, far enough. There you go. And then we we exit the edit mode and then we keyframe. We start keyframing because it's going to it's going to move towards there. Now the trick here is um, we're going to we're going to keyframe like um, three parts. First part is going to be like the cloth um, effect. So starting from frame one, I'm going to keyframe this one and then move to like 50 frames enough to give physics some time to move. So I'm going to uh, move this one to like 20%. So keyframe it. Then um, move over to like some point here where uh, oh wait, I guess I need to play it first. So physics would do it, its thing. There you go. So like that. So it should stop at 50 but we're going to keyframe like about 80. Like give give physics some time to like normalize the whole thing. So keyframe it again. And then starting from 80, this is where you will start the reveal. So you need to make sure your um, your item that's going to be revealed is right here. Because this is where the curtain would start. So let's say we go for about 140, like that, for a full reveal. Then move this one to the maximum point and then keyframe it. So we, ha we have up to 140 and then maybe we should cash to about one, 200. So yeah, let's go to um, the cloth thing. Click on, uh, just go to physics properties, go down until you see the caching. And then it's up to you if you want to um, cache the whole 250. But maybe for now, let's just do it up to 200. And then click the bake, bake icon. Where's the, let's, uh, let's just run this one to the start. Click bake. Then wait a bit. It's going to take a while. So let's do some editing magic. And there you have it. We have cached the the physics simulation. So let's replay. Let's see how it works. So from that frame. And there you have it. So you're gonna start from frame 50, I mean frame 80. That's where you will start your actual animation or your actual rendering. And voila. Let's see, uh, let's add a monkey. Oh, it's too big. Scale it down. Make it um, face us because uh, we don't want a we don't want a a shy monkey. Let's um, beautify it a bit. Let's go to frame 80 so we know where it starts. Let's move it along this side here. Move it back a little bit like that. I think we should move it a bit about like that. So you're going to start your animation here. So let's pray, let's press play, and there you have it. Now you could make two of these um, cloth if you want to like an opening style animation. Just do it the other way around. Just create, um, just create a plane, and have the have the um, the cursor 
on the right side. So yeah, that's about it. Let's do a one more animation. There you go. And that's how you make um, a reveal, a cloth reveal or a um, curtain reveal. And yeah, thanks for watching Forgebeats. If you like uh, these types of content, like a short uh, tutorial, a very concise short tutorial, uh, we would really love and appreciate that you click that sub subscribe button below and also click that bell icon. Also like the video if you like uh, these types of uh, video or click this like if you don't want. Also we would appreciate if you comment down anything you would like a request for the future. And um, we also have Patreon if you want to download these um, blender files that we create. We also do live streams between 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. EST every day. So we are at, um, no, uh, this video is probably gonna be uh, uploaded uh, in the future. So I'm not sure what day are we at. But yeah, we do live streams every day. So uh, make sure you drop by, say hello while I stream and that's it. Bye!